Hello there, Pisces. How's it going, you guys? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly, and I'm going to be doing this or reading. Uh, the first reading uh, we pulled here, I'm going to do the warm ones here first for a change. This one here is called A Hun. Okay, A Hun. This is, uh, this is the gorse tree, Pisces, okay? And this is talking about regenerating life force and inspiration. And it also brings fulfillment and abundance. And I see that here, uh, you know, in the middle of the regular room with Gable, see? Abundance, blessings, right. A hun asks us to draw together all faucets of our life and direct them towards a singular goal. It also talks about that since this is a very fiery catalyst for change, we must also exercise caution uh, to a hun to bring cleansing as renewal and restoration so that properly balanced energy can be restored. All right. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Let's get into the next one here. The next one here is called, uh, this one here, Pisces. This is called Be, all right? And Be is the birch tree, all right? So let's see what Be is talking about. Be brings a renewal energy Clearing out the old or negative energy to make way for new beginnings. When Bet appears in a reading, she brings a cleansing release that heralds the coming of new projects or an even improvement in health and vitality. Great. Bet invites us to release old patterns, peacefully resolve any conflicts, and embrace welcome changes. Wow. So that sounds pretty cool there, Pisces. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. All right, so that's these two runes here. Let's get in here to Rito, which I'm probably, by the way, uh, not pronouncing correctly, Pisces. I try to pronounce these as best I can. Uh, I'm going to explain a few things as I go um, about these runes because, you know, uh, some of these runes, um, not only uh, am I having a hard time pronouncing them correctly because it's a different language, um, but also, I may be calling them by different names than more traditional names, okay? Like, for example, this is Elhaz. But the more traditional name for Elhaz is Algiz, okay? So somebody left me a note there, and a lot of people in, you know, Scandinavia know this, and they're just letting me know, and I appreciate the, the note, yeah. And I just wanted to share that with you, you guys, because I know that, you know, this is Algis. <laughs> I know that, okay. <laughs> you know, a lot of people are saying, El has, what's that? So, you know, I, you know, I think El has is like a newer name that was thrown in later, but Algis is the more ancient name. So, you know, just wanted to let you know about that, all right? This is also Capricorn energy, uh, Pisces, and you could be dealing with a Capricorn. All right, and this Capricorn could be feeling vulnerable. This Capricorn could be feeling somewhat vulnerable. Um, now I see uh, also, you know, uh, with Thoracicus here, it's in reverse, so that's the way you always kind of want it. I mean, it not only indicates protection, Pisces, but it, it's a clear path. You know, the coast is clear. It's kind of like the coast is clear when it's in reverse because the thorn's pointing away from you and you're, you're walking up this way. So, um, yeah, it, it's good when it's in reverse. It's definitely in its protection too because you got that thorn on the outside. So, yeah. Now, with Nathis here, this is also a learning experience for a lot of us. This is some sort of learning um, and, you know, with I see a righto over here uh, in the upright, this could also be uh, learning something about yourself. It could also uh, be some sort of a travel, too. 
So maybe you need to travel somewhere and you could be lacking something to be able to do that. Um, but I kind of don't feel that that's the deal. Not when I see Gable here in the middle. So I'm thinking this is more some, some sort of thing about learning. Okay, so you're learning something, Pisces. All right, and with Rito, it's it's moving. You know, if you're not traveling, um, then this is spiritual, and you're moving forward spiritually. All right, you're moving forward spiritually to to get rid of you know to to get rid of all this to get let go of all this. Because you have, like what these rings said, it's, it's talking about regeneration and, and new things, releasing the old and, and bringing in the new, right? Now, with Ewas right here, this is companionship. This is some sort of uh, partnership. This is like, it, this could be a friend. This could be, you know... It's 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 really a, a good rune when it's in the upright, but it's next to Isa, which is um, by the way, Pisces. This is uh, this is kind of partnerships. This is like companionship, or this could be like a friend, though. This doesn't have to be sexual. All right, it most certainly does not. It's any kind of relationship, um, but uh, I mean, it looks promising. It's it's right there, but you know, you have. Uh, you have uh, Isa here, and this is, you know, Isa reminds me of the Wounded Warrior. It really kind of does. It reminds me of uh, the Nine of Wands. And it's kind of left you, left you feeling in the cold. You've been left in the dark, you know. But I see Anzus here in reverse. You know, this could be, you know, somebody didn't tell you the truth. Maybe somebody's not being honest with you. All right, because uh, and, you know, if you had suspected it with that, they weren't going to be honest with you. This would be in this would be in reverse, but you didn't suspect this at all. So if somebody hasn't been really honest with you. It's left you felt and left in the dark, you know. So, you know, um, yeah, like I said, you could be dealing with the Capricorn here. This is El has and they could be feeling defensive. Or either that or uh, they could be feeling um, vulnerable. Maybe they're feeling vulnerable for some reason. I don't really understand that. but Because everything is, the coast is clear here with Thoracicus. It's in reverse, you know. The good thing about this here, Pisces, with Thoracicus in reverse is, uh, you know, you are protected. See, you've got the thorn on the outside there, and then you've got you can just walk right through there, all right. And whatever this de deal is, you know, like I said, we're walking away from what does not serve us. You look at this, this is like right there, smack dab. You know, the eight of cups, you are walking away, you're walking away from what doesn't, doesn't serve you. Now, with King of Pentacles, I feel that this is some sort of a a change coming to your with your money. I think your money is changing. This is Taurus energy, by the way. Uh, so you know maybe uh, you know things are changing with your money for sure. This is the Ace of Pentacles, and this is kind of like you know uh, the universe stepping in and putting their you know handing you this 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 Pentacle, right? So you're 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 going into a new phase of your life now, Pisces, and it just kind of like seems like it's taking forever because it's just moving so slow. So you got the Isa, uh, but you've got new mountains to climb. See if you look through that doorway, you can see the mountains in the background. You've got other obstacles and and things you know to do. Other challenges, you know what I mean? New things. <laughs> all right pisces so that's what i see here with this this looks really kind of good let's pull you um i guess i don't really want to pull an oracle card I'll, i already pulled two a warm rune so we'll pull just a regular moon moonology card hope you guys are having a good day afternoon or whenever you're watching me all right what's going on here with pisces 
The end of a rough cycle approaches and full moon in Capricorn. So yeah, like I said, you could be dealing with the Capricorn Pisces. See? And as I said, I got Capricorn twice. But the end of this tough cycle that we're going in, it's it's coming to a close. So it, it, it it's it's getting pretty close, all right? And I, I can see it. You can see it. You see it right through there. See those mountains right there? That's past that gateway. That's 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 the new cycle. The old one's ending. Well, there you have it, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right, Pisces. Bye for now.